welcome to our numbskulls.net. This is our tutorial for how to cut off the base of the head. We've already done the eyes, we've separated the jaw, we've removed these, and we're just gonna set that off to the side for right now. The next step that we want to do to convert this to be a mask is this area right here needs to be cut out so it's gonna fit over your head because this little hole isn't gonna work. Um, if this is a mask for a child, you might want to cut it a little bit smaller to fit over their head. For an adult, you want to make sure it's cut out a little bigger. At this point, you can see the rounding of the skull. There's a flat part here, and then it comes down around. We're going to actually cut at this area. It's going to be easier once you have your hands on it to see what needs to be cut. So we cut right here and work our way around and cut under here. Uh, I'm going to actually do a marker on it. Excuse my shaky hands. Do here. You can see there's definitely a separation here or a change where it comes across. And that's the line I'm following at this point. I'm just following that line. I'm trying to stay. I may have gone a little much there be for a bigot-headed person or if you have braids or something you can also fit your braids up in there braid your hair and tuck it up in there so I know for myself I can get my ponytail up in one of these with my foam um, so that makes it nice and easy to wear so I love the sugar skulls we do lots of different types of skulls and there we go. Make sure to get down here up to the front mandible. There we go. We have measured out where we're going to cut out the portion here to do the, the uh, um, to let your head get into it to make the mask. So what we do is you see that there's area here is thicker. I have the bigger tool because I want to cut it through a little bigger. Um, I'm actually going to puncture it here first. here. I am using the bigger one on this. Um, gives me a little bit more leverage. Don't worry if you cut directly on the line or not. You don't have to do a line. The line we put there so that you could see what we were talking about. You do not have to put a line. We're going to actually paint this skull afterwards, so the line isn't going to be that big of a deal for us. We're just going to paint over the line. it a little bit here, separate the connector here where it's glued together. So I can pull this piece out. And that's it. Now I want to heat it up again just to do some gentle melting. You can brush it off if you want. I'm just going to melt those pieces in because I want to keep as much foam as I can that I want. Again, not too close because you're going to melt it and burn it. We don't want burning. It's 
smoothing it out along the edges here. I'm just gonna blow it out a little bit with that. Put it more down. Smooth out a little, put it a little more. The nice thing about this heat is you can also use it to help foam form. But it is really hot, so be careful. Don't burn yourself. So when I cut this part off, when I cut the back part of the head off, I went out on an angle. I should have gone in straight up and down, but that's okay. We can easily fix that. Anytime you pick it up, you can hold it here because that is a good strong area or somewhere else around the skull. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to use my smaller tool this time. I'm going to go a little more straight up and down with it. A little piece. Making a nice big mess here. Eh, maybe I will go back to the bigger tool. I don't like the bigger tool, but. I'm going to do this side. I'm just trying to shave it so it's a little more straight up and down there. Get a little better transition. It makes it easier to get the skull onto your head. Let me dump that out. Inside here are two little nubs you may or may not be able to see. And the nub, that's what was used to hold it on the mold when it was made. That can just be broken off if you want to. And on this side also it off for that purpose. All right, I'm going to smooth everything down again with the gun, with the uh, tool, the heat tool. Remember, not too close or you're going to burn your foam. Flaming skulls are fun, but not in my lap. You see how quickly it melted that area? Yeah, that got real hot real fast. Keep it moving. That'll help keep it nice and smooth. You can do this with a hair dryer too. Maybe keep it on low air, but a higher heat. Play with it to find out what works best for you. This is the tool we have. This is what we're using, and it's really hot. So, thank you.